there and welcome to my video tutorial, a really short video tutorial today to share with you how to make the spiral flowers um, from the Spring Summer catalogue. These can be found on page 32 of the new Spring Summer brochure and the spiral flower die is £15.95. This is what it looks like, it is one of the big dies and this is how it comes out when you've rolled it through the big shot. I have rolled up to three or four um, with card and that they've come out fine. So this is what I do to create the spiral flowers. Once you've rolled a piece of card, I have only used card for these rather than paper. I take the spritzing tools that we sell. We sell a pack of two of these and they're £2.75 each. These are in the main catalogue on page 164. Okay, so basically I just spray both sides and the reason I do this is because it makes it a little bit more the card a little bit more pliable for you to play about with then you simply roll in from the small edge the outside edge okay. when you get to the end here I take my trusty Tombow glue and I pop some glue in the middle there. Okay, and at this point I do let the spiral flower just open up slightly because I want a bit of a fuller flower. Now because we've sprayed this with water it does allow us to bend the petals back. So I'm just manipulating these to make a more of what I'd call a sort of shabby chic rose style flower. Okay. Now some of my customers have asked if they have to purchase a hot glue gun to, um, to make these flowers. I've never used a hot glue gun for these. I've only used the, the Tombow glue. What I do um, then is I would probably put something heavy down on that to hold it down but these are a few that I made this morning um, whilst I actually sat at dancing with my son and again they're all they're all just made with Tombow so I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial in how to make the spiral flower die with the new Stampin' Up Bigs spiral flowers die from the spring summer catalogue thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>